Hello, sixth grade. This is Miss Duncan with a tutorial video for number 33, Steak and Kidney Pie. So this is our white belt playing test for orchestra karate, so I want everybody to do their best. So if we've gotten to number 33, we've talked about left hand shape. I'm demonstrating on a violin. I'm bringing it up to a good playing position. Okay, it is parallel to the floor. I have my shoulder rest on so I can look ma no hands. Okay, and I'm bringing my left hand to the instrument. You know, it was here on the belt. You're just gonna slide it back about five inches. Or you can think about our video we saw with Harry the hamster and how we want him to stay safe. What I want to avoid is having you feel like you need to support the instrument with your wrist, okay? This is gonna lead to a lot of failures when we wanna do more advanced stuff like the fancy vibrato or shifting to higher notes. So I want you to go ahead and set yourself up for some success and make sure you have a nice straight line really from your knuckle all the way to your elbow, okay? So, Steak and Kidney Pie uses the notes open D, first finger E, second finger F sharp, and third finger G. Okay, you should have tapes on there. That's a white tape for E, a red tape for F sharp, and a blue tape for G. Okay, I'm playing on a violin that has all black tapes, but those are your reference points if you need them. And remember, everything we're plucking is on the D string. Again, I'm on a violin, so this is my D string. If I were on a viola, this would be my D string, the second to skinniest string, okay? So I'm gonna set myself up. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my F sharp. So two fingers down on that red tape. I'm gonna play this while I count out loud. Notice my thumb is over here, okay? It's pointing straight up and kind of my thumbnail's peeking over. This is another one. We don't want it to be strangling the neck, but we also don't want it to be hiding over here. We want it to be just right. And then you can see my index finger is kind of boxed off like three sides of a house. And when I add F sharp, same thing, my middle finger is nice and flattened like this. I'm using the tips of my fingers. I'm not trying to do like that, okay? And I'm pressing pretty firmly. I don't want to squeeze, but you can hear the difference between not pressing firmly and pressing firmly, okay? So this is one of these things that's gonna get better the more we practice it and just build up some finger strength, okay? Get that stress ball and practice some finger squeezes if you're still getting that thumpy sound. Okay, so this is Steak and Kidney Pie. I'll play it while I count out loud so you can hear my accurate rhythms as well. One, two, three, four. 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 F sharp, G, F sharp, E, E. Here's the tricky part, G. F sharp, E, E, D, D. Okay, if you need practice naming those notes, then I'd recommend you go to the D string note naming practice. And just our practice techniques include naming the notes. So just go all the way through and name them without your instrument. And then taking things a measure at a time. So get just measure one right, and then get just measure two right, and put those two together. Then get measure three right, and add that together. Before you know it, you're gonna be playing successfully through number 33.